So you're wondering what's the difference between industrial design and graphic design? On today's Race Day Wednesday, we're gonna cover that. So a lot of you are in a stage in your life when you're deciding which career to take. If you're interested in design, there's a few different design branches. So I'm going to try to explain to you just the difference between industrial design and graphic design. So let's try to beat this race car before it finishes a lot. So graphic design, what's graphic design? Graphic design is anything that is in 2D. So it's flat. So you see it everywhere around you. You see it on magazines, you see it on books, you see it on billboards, you see it even on TV. Like when you're watching soccer game and you see the graphics where it says the score or you see in the news and it says the name of the reporter on the bottom, all, all that stuff, that is graphic design. So here we have an example of graphic design. That magazine, that's actually graphic design. It's flat, I cannot grab it. They're really good with fonts, making sure there's a nice balance to the image. They are good with colors. And then you have a very recognizable font because sometimes you can know this magazine is popular mechanics without even reading the text, just by looking at, at the font and how it's laid out. That was done by a graphic designer where if you see this from far away, it's kind of catchy because it has that contrast and that black and white. And then it has this guitar that just pops out from far away, right? So you don't have to get close to read it. And then if that catches your eye, then you get closer and you can read all the text and all the fonts. That's graphic design for you. For industrial design, I'm a car designer, but basically car design is just a branch of industrial design. Industrial design is anything that it's physical. It's an object, you can grab it. So if you grab like this headphones, anything around you, if it's not a tree, a person, a human, it was built by someone, someone had to get there and draw it and make sure the dimensions are right, make sure the components fit in, make sure it fits with a human. So if you see this headphones, it has speakers inside. Someone had to make sure those speakers get in there. They have to make sure they sound right. They have to make sure that it fits in your head, that it covers your ears. So there's a lot of design out there and everything around you was designed by someone. Here's an example of an industrial design that I did. This is a, a screen that is supposed to go on the back of taxis. And this screen, it has a lot of components inside. Basically, even though it's a simple box, if I open the like, bigger one that I did for them, this is, this is actually pretty cool. This is a prototype. I made this in the computer, and then this is the prototype that I received. And if you see inside, computer elements that I have to make sure they fit, I have to make sure all the screws are in there, make sure it's strong enough to, for people that are on the taxi that are gonna abuse it and just hit it left and right. And here we have the back side, which Again, we have to check that it has ventilation, that um, the screws where it attaches to the taxi, it's a standard measurement. So there's a lot to industrial design. So it looked like the race car already finished, but there's still a few things that I wanna mention. The difference between industrial design and car design is that we were trained a lot on the beauty of the object, right? Because, I mean, GoPro, it's a good looking camera. It's nice and simple, but it's just a box. It's square, there's not much to it, right? But if you go into a car, you can have a great car, but if it's not a good looking car, it's not gonna sell. I don't care how many miles per gallon, I don't care how comfortable it is inside, people buy cars by first looking at them. So that's why we focus so much on the sculpture, on the body, on the art of car design. So like I've shown you this before, this is just like studying and understanding shapes and making something attractive, right? So hopefully that will clarify for you the difference between industrial design and graphic design. Uh, any question, put it in the comments below. I'm going to keep doing these videos. Please make sure you subscribe and thank you for watching and I hope this helps.